finance is a tool mm -hmm. to enable property investors to achieve what they want to achieve. Because you can go out and buy properties cash all day long, you can save you know, hundreds of grand over the course of a couple of decades, buy yourself a property and then do the same thing. You could do that, but it's gonna take you a long time. Finance is just a facilitator to allow you to, to, to move on a bit more, a bit quicker. And the different types of finance that you can arrange enables you to do it at different speeds. Mortgages are relatively slow, bridging development finance a little bit quicker. It's as simple as that. So I think what, what I really wanted to try and do with Grand Union was to establish a, a brokerage that could almost act a little bit like a, a mentorship service as well. A lot of people contact me just because they want to talk about their property strategies. Now, I've only done one flip myself, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not in your league, but um, it, I, I, because I've got loads of clients that do, you know, you, you spoke to Jack last week, mm -hmm. I, I work with Jack on the social housing side of things, I've got clients that have um, service accommodation, um, HMOs, larger development stuff, res, uh, commercial to residential, all these different strategies I understand because I speak to these clients on a regular basis and because I'm therefore then speaking to the lenders that offer the types of finance that they need, which is quite niche. And so as a result of that, you know, probably three or four sort of new client calls that I get a week are from people that just like, right, I'm starting out, I don't really know what I'm doing, I can't afford a, you know, 1997 course. Mm -hmm. uh, can, can, would you mind spending half an hour with me just explaining how this works and this works and this works? And yeah, look, I, I can't, be doing that all the time. Do, do you not find as well that a lot of those people are like, when you're saying you're explaining how a mortgage works or how mm. a bridge or development finance works, sometimes people are embarrassed because like, you know, especially sometimes when I speak to particularly like the, the Gen Z, the millennials, they think, oh, like they're, they're part of this generation where you're supposed to know everything. Mm -hmm. But do you know, I find, I speak to people that have, you know, come from six figure jobs that now want to start investing in property that have been, you know, really high net worth individuals that still, don't have a clue how a bridging loan works. Yeah. So I think that concept of not being afraid to ask what you don't understand to further your advancements with whatever you want to do in the future, mm. I think is, is something that's a really good takeaway. Not just obviously for those with the money to do it and have come from somewhere and you know that they've been doing what they've been doing for a long time, but particularly for those that are starting out as well, mm. that really understanding what you currently have and maybe you're missing some of the pieces to the puzzle whether that be your credit score whether that be income whether that be you know assets whatever the case that may be but understanding what you're missing is just as important as you know just having it in the first place yeah i th i am um, i did a talk recently at an event where i was actually talking about all the different sort of traits that i see in my most successful clients that mm. sort of links them all together mm -hmm. and curiosity is one of them yeah. Um, I didn't actually mention that on that, that talk. Maybe I should. should because this is the Property by Kazi oh, no. podcast <laughs> where you get the gems. <laughs> you get something extra that you don't get <laughs> elsewhere, extra. right? Sure. Um, but curiosity is, is one of them. Not being afraid to ask questions. Mm. Um, and I often actually say, and I don't know whether, again, I'm kind of like over-egging myself a bit, but if I talk to somebody who's brand new in the game mm -hmm. um, on the phone for 40 minutes, I reckon nine times out of 10, I will be able to tell you whether they're gonna be successful or not. Because mm -hmm. I can just, I just get a sense of it, the kind of questions they're asking. <laughs>